Hello. Today I'd like to show you a website called OneLook. OneLook is a thesaurus and brainstorming tool for the 21st century. You've probably used a thesaurus in the past to look up synonyms and different words for your writing. You can do the same sort of thing on OneLook. So for example, if I search for a word like happy, I'll get back a list of definitions of the word happy, followed by a ranked list of synonyms and related words such as pleased, content, joyful, euphoric, and joyous. While well, typical thesaurus would give you just a small handful of synonyms, one look always gives you back hundreds of choices, including close synonyms, shown here highlighted in yellow, and other words that are related to or similar to the word that you searched. You can then organize the words in many different ways to zero in on exactly the one that you're looking for. Now, not every word is right for every occasion. Um, you can click on a word to get more information about the word, including when, where, and how it's used. Um, for example, this slightly oddball result, reint, shows up. Um, here we can see the definitions of reint, as well as uh, some usage examples from literature, and a chart showing how often it's been used in the last few centuries. If you mouse over the chart, you'll see it was very popular as a word before 1800, but it's declined in popularity since then, especially since the mid-1900s. So as a result, you might choose to use the word reant only if you're doing something like writing a period piece set in the 18th century. If you mouse over a bar, uh, we show you a word that we think is the best alternative for, for th that word in the decade that you've highlighted. So in this case, we can see uh, that we suggest the word chirpy as an alternative for reint in the 2010s. Now, as I mentioned, you can organize the results in a lot of different ways. Um, the starting point for doing that is this box that says closest meaning first. If we click on that box, we see a lot of other ways to order the results, including some obvious ones like alphabetically. Um, but there's also a lot of interesting ways that are not available in any other resource. So for example, if I click on most modern, it will prioritize words that have uh, been used particularly frequently in the last few decades to mean happy, such as psyched, and sparky, and euphoric. There's also an option called most lyrical, which will prioritize words that are synonyms for happy, but that are also popular and lyrics and classical poetry, such as Blythe and Mary and Elysian. Now, OneLook indexes many millions of words and phrases, a lot more than uh, most other thesauruses. So let's go ahead and try something a little harder than happy. The other day, I came across the word revanchism um, while I was reading the news, and um, I wasn't really sure what it meant, so I searched for it on OneLook. Not only did I get the definition of revanchism, or the political policy of endeavoring to regain lost territory, but I also got a lot of related um, concepts, such as irredentism, and annexationism, expansionism, and territorialism. Now, these aren't synonyms of revanchism, strictly speaking, but they're nuanced variations on the same geo geopolitical theme of revenge. And um, I feel like I came away with a more complete understanding of the word revanchism than I, than I would have if I had simply looked up its definition. Um, I should mention that we organize the results by part of speech, so nouns, adjectives, and verbs, and so forth. And then we also have a special tab for idioms and slang, so um, popular ways of ex you know, expressions for expressing the concept of revanchism or revenge in um, idiomatically are phrases like eye for an eye, tit for tat, even the score, and so forth. Now, your, your search for uh, a word on, your search on one look need not be a single word. I want to show a few examples of, of how you can search for phrases. Um, one example, uh, the other day I was looking for ways to describe strong wind or kinds of strong wind. You get back some obvious ones, like gales and hurricanes. Um, but had you heard of uh, mistrels, for example, which is a particular kind of wind in, in the Mediterranean, um, or, or others like levanter, 
also a, a wind from the Mediterranean, and many more. Um, if I do a search like this and, and scroll down, I'll see that in addition to the synonyms and related words, there's also an organization of the results into these so-called um, concept sets. Um, so if I click on hot wind, for example, um, I get a list of uh, words that are in the concept cluster, hot wind, uh, including many, many winds that I'd never heard of. In fact, I think very few of the items on this list I'd heard of before, such as um, simoom, which is a hot, dry, suffocating, dust-laden wind of the desert. Um, so that's an example of a slightly more complicated query. We can do even more interesting things like, say, search for lists of things, such as types of light bulb. If I do a search like that, I'll get back a list of light bulb types, such as incandescent, tungsten, halogen, etc., including the um, humble Edison bulb down there. You can also search for words using a long form description, or really anything that's on your mind. So, for example, that thing that hangs in the back of your throat gives you uh, uvula and tonsil, which, if you're human, are probably what you're referring to. Or let's try something like that electric instrument where you wave your hands up and down, which is the theremin. Anyways, that's a whirlwind overview of one look. Um, it's worth noting that the word thesaurus comes from, uh, comes from the Greek, meaning treasure, treasury, or storehouse. Um, there's a tremendous amount of, of treasure to find in our language. Um, one look's main goal is to help you explore it. Um, I've only scratched the surface of, of what's possible. Uh, if you click on the Help button, you'll get back a uh, list of examples organized by different kinds of tasks, uh, as well as a discussion of uh, a few of the more advanced features that we offer, uh, including letter patterns, which I, I haven't described at all in this video. Hope to make a, a couple more videos over the coming months which describe some of these more advanced features in detail. Uh, meantime, please enjoy the website. Um, it is totally free and completely ad-free and free of distractions. Um, if you would like to support OneLook, we do have an iOS app that's available for uh, a small subscription fee. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Take care.